So the challenge with the expectation, mm. it is when it is not discussed among a couple. Mm -hmm. But when I stay with my expectation and mm. I'm expecting him to be able mm. to meet my expectation mm. and he does not know that I do, mm. that's where frustration comes in. And that's wow. why we want to let every person listening to us to understand that nobody is your mind reader. Mm. If you have an expectation, learn to share it. My husband, everybody mm -hmm. at my age mm -hmm. has already built. When are you building? It is the Naked and Not Ashamed show. As usual, we bring you hot topics that affect families. We talk about topics so real, so natural that you can relate with, you can understand easily, and we are tackling things that either affect you or affect a person you know. So if you haven't known this show, this is a family show, and our, our joy is just to bring you love, to bring you encouragement, and to tell you that you can do it. Welcome for another episode again, Naked and Not Ashamed. So before we dive into the topic, let me welcome our parents just to say hello, then we can proceed. <laughs> hello, our viewers yes. and our listeners. Oh, yes. What a blessed generation uh -huh. that they are hearing the things they are hearing today. Oh, yes. You know, I remember when we got married. Yes. We didn't know much. We didn't know much. Actually, you were naive. So naive. So naive. You don't know where to start. Uh -huh and how to continue. Uh -huh. And even when you start, you start it on a long footing. It is very true. But can you imagine? Yes. Somebody is not married and they are hearing this now. Uh -huh. Somebody is dating, they are hearing this now. Oh, yes. I count you to be highly favored and highly blessed. Amen. I love you, my sweet <laughs> girl. Thank you so much. You're always a blessing in my life. Thank you. Thank and you know you. what? Eh? Yes. I'm so blessed that I married you. Amen. You are the best choice Amen. that I made in this <laughs> world. Amen. I have no regrets whatsoever hey. for marrying Sue. Praise the Lord. You are a blessing in my life. Thank you so much. Yes. I also want to appreciate you for giving me headship anointing. Because the purpose of a, a, a husband is to give headship anointing to the wife and also to give fatherly anointing to the children. Mm. And uh, you are such a model. Thank you. And especially teaching me how to love the Lord mm. and uh, changing my perspective on how I can be able to apply the word of God in my very own life and even in my marriage life. Mm. And for me, I can only tell people that our greatest secret in this marriage mm. is that we have made sure that our foundation is the word of God. Mm. And because of that, every day we are changed, we are transformed mm. to become the very couple that God wanted us to be. Mm. And I can only say to the viewers that if you listen and you apply this wisdom mm. in your own personal life, you mm. will have results. Yeah. You will have evident results. Mm -hmm. And so we have come to be aligned uh, here so that you can also be aligned mm. as you are listening to us mm. so that the wisdom of God can bring liberation and freedom in your marriage and relationship mm. and you enjoy life mm. even as God intended. Wow. I'm ready for the show. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Honey, how do you feel hosting with people who are in love and not those who are packaging online? Yeah. Real love. <laughs> Our parents, are, for the time that I've sat with them mm. these months, yes. I've seen people who are so natural, so authentic, mm. yes. and we, we, I, I'm imagining at our age when we have both past 50. Mm. Mm. This is grace. I, I count myself blessed Amen. so yeah. much. Mm. Yes. Any encounter I have with you, mm. any phone call I see you guys calling, mm. I always say I'm blessed. Amen. Just to spare your time. You, you guys are so busy, mm. but you just say, let us sit down and just talk about these mm. things. It's a blessing mm. and I'm so blessed. Mm. Thank you. Mm. So uh, in marriage, we have expectations versus realities. Very true. And uh, many people have run out of their marriages because the expectations were not met. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because you had deadlines, those deadlines have already gone past time, mm. and you're not seeing any results. So you mm. say, ah, Mimi Kumba, I'm in a, in a wrong marriage, a wrong relationship. Mm. I can remember, uh, we met when we were in campus, mm. and when we were just now finishing our, our fourth year, we were now, we finished in April, so around uh, early April, early March, there's a place we used to go and pray, mm. it was called Lower Field in Egerton. Mm. So we sat down now, said, now us, 
We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. We shall never tarmac in this world. Mm. So this is the, the things we are going to have. We are going to graduate in, in December, January. We are going to get jobs, big jobs by the government. Mm. And I think we are watching so many Nigerian movies. So and many people are also watching soap operas. Mm. And they want to download that life to bring reality. Mm. So we were seeing guys, when, uh, after graduating, you just get a big job, you're told, sir, here is your office. Mm. This is your car, uh, this is your driver. So I was expecting, after graduating, I'll get such a big job, mm. same to my wife. And our biggest dilemma will now be, because the government may put a nyumba pia may pay nyumba na government. So to kasema, yes. we'll just use the government's houses for a short time. Then we go and buy our own plot. So by March we should be having our land, yeah. and then by May June we should be having our house and our home. Then let our kids come and find us in a big house. Mm -hmm. So yeah. life was very easy. Expectations met because you we have a need, lineup for mm, life. We huh? need papers. We have papers. We've graduated. We have degrees. Ah, to kasawa. Mm. Now we graduated. Mm. <laughs> and went outside the life, uh, the world. Mm -hmm. Now expectations ended, reality came in. It reached a point now, we looked, we looked for jobs, there were no jobs. So we opted to go and start teaching in these primary schools. Mm -hmm. And the only place, we, but then we went to a school, high school, we said we want to teach what they asked us, are you teachers by professions? No. What do you do? Nutrition. And you? Economics. You're not teachers, so you can't teach. We have many teachers who are here even on TP looking for jobs. We can't give you them, we leave them out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, guys, these people don't even respect a degree. <laughs> and then we went to now a primary school where they, were now, they accepted us. Because now we reached a point, there is no food. Mm -hmm. At Kulangi, this school told us mm, they will be free tea at 10 p.m. <laughs> at 10 a.m. Then there will be lunch for teachers. We said, for the sake of tea and lunch, let us come and work. <laughs> wow. So we began working. With no pay, this headmaster could give us 50 bob, 200 go and buy soap. Ivo, Ivo, too. And it was a long distance. She would walk with her heels. Sometimes she could carry her heels in the bag. So now reality came in. What we were expecting is not happening. Yeah. What we saw as very close is now going very far. So like, it's now like, who is going to hire us? It's like we, are, we discovered that we are so many graduates. We thought we were the only one graduating. Mm -hmm. We are so many and no papers. Mm -hmm. And this does not only happen because of what we are going to get, but also what we expect our spouses to give when we get in marriage. Yeah. Oh, Maybe yes. we expect after we get married, mm. this man will be coming every evening with the flowers and chocolate, mm. coming singing, taking you out on a horse, taking you in big hotels. Mm. These things don't happen. What should we do? Do we yeah. step out? Mm. Yeah. Maybe just to say, uh, going reflecting back on our life, I think life should people should have a flexible mentality. Mm -hmm. Like me and you never prepared for the what if. Yeah. Mm. What if mm. we don't mm. find that job? Mm. We would have begun thinking, how can we create our soft skills? Mm. Build like mm. now you're doing much of photographic production. Mm. We never used to think of such like, mm. and we came to realize later in life that we could even do podcasting. Mm. We could act. But then in campus, we were like, we are going to be employed. Yeah. We have papers. So also, I think when getting into a relationship and uh, also marriage eventually, mm. people should have, uh, you leave a little room for flexibility. You have an open mind because life is not uni unilateral. Like, mm. I end it on straight line EV. Mm -hmm. bumps, even in marriage, a lot of it. But mm. sometimes, like me, I was, uh, my expectation was like, uh, I love being pampered. My husband would be that lovey, lovey dovey guy. I love you, blah, 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 blah. But I realized sometimes this guy is busy, is thinking on how our family can be built. Because in Apata, you've raised so much expectation. You expect so much to an extent somebody can be overwhelmed. But you need to come to a, a level of real, reality mm, and practicality. Mm, mm, mm. Whereby you are human, this person is human. How can we move? as human being come up with shortcomings. Yeah. I've learned something over time, darling, mm -hmm. from mom and dad. Mm. Dad is very patient with mom. Mm. Because uh, uh, like me, I realized maybe mom is, some can struggle with the time. Ladies struggle with the time. Mm. But you, you, time. Yeah, yeah. you can take time mm. to wait for, you'd, you'd want a, a, a partner who is very chop, 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 chop. Mm. Before you go, go to the car, the partner is waiting. But your expectation, when you are married, you realize your wife will be two hours back, back in the house. So Three. You, or, for my case. Okay. Ah, 
Is it that bad? <laughs> oh, continue. <laughs> Okay. Mine's so, a special case. <laughs> Three so, hours. <laughs> so you have that as he wakes up early. He tells me, just wake up and start. Mm. Eh, like today I began at, <laughs> at 5.30. 5.30. And he joins me at 7. So you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that those are, you just find how to manage your expectations. Yeah. With life. So that we avoid these suicidal things. What we are watch our Yeah. And I think what you've said about suicidal. Mm -hmm. Did you find someone is committing suicide? Mm -hmm. Someone, we had a case of that lady who committed suicide from your mm, side. From my home, but Because she has graduate. been searching for a job for long and job is not coming. Not even for long. Wow. She graduated in 2019. Yeah. And she hasn't gotten mm. a job. Mm. And yet us, I graduated in 2015, mm. 2014. I got my first job in 2018. Mm. And the job that was paying me 14,000. My first job that was salary end month, mm. 14,000. It was so, small, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm a graduate, so unapata kuna kazi, but... So, men para committing suicide, mm. giving up in life, mm. Because expectations and reality don't match. Mm. So maybe you guys have gone ahead for a long time mm. and you've had these experiences. Mm. What should couples do in such a situation? Mm. Well, um, I, I love your story. I mean, listening keenly about your journey in campus and what you thought about that. Mm. And uh, that is a reflection of what happens yes. to so many other people. Oh, yes. And uh, not just within the marriage context, mm. Mm. but even in other um, fields. Mm. Uh, you find that uh, someone moves from here, goes to abroad, mm. and they have the mentality mm. they will get a lot of money, mm -hmm. they will get a very good jobs, mm -hmm. and then you get there and you wonder, is this the abroad that I was promised? Mm -hmm. Is this the kind of a praise that the people talk about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you get there, because of the frustration, the discouragement, you end up falling into the long hands. Very mm. true. In the long company. Very true. And today, there's a crisis about the young people mm. who are relocating to abroad. Mm. Because they were not used to uh, those kind of uh, jobs that are done there. Mm. You know, around where they were living with their parents, they were being pampered. Mm -hmm. You know, they had been driving, mm -hmm. and uh, cashier. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they had been given some good good mm -hmm. to, to jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they get outside there, mm -hmm. being driving is a big privilege. Being a cashier is a big privilege. Mm -hmm. Those jobs are not available. Mm -hmm. And so because of, you know, those expectations they had and they are not met, they end up into very funny mm. groups mm. and very funny things. Mm. The same case happens in marriage. Mm. Oh, yes. That people have gotten married, and there is maybe what you had thought your husband or your wife, they will become. Mm. And I've seen something very funny, mm -hmm. actually, in this world. Mm. You find there are some people who are blessed with very good families, mm. The husband is good, the wife is good, the children are there, but there is no money. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay? Mm. Now, on the other side, mm. all the money they wanted is available. Mm. But there are no children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? There is no peace. There is no peace. Mm. The money is there, but there is no peace. Mm. The money is there, but yes. there is no family. They are fighting day in, day mm. out. You get it. Mm. They have built, uh, you know, houses. Mm. They have got flats all over in the city and out of the city. But, but they can't they talk sick. to one another. Mm. They are sick. They are spending all the money they have mm. in the hospital. In the hospital. Mm. And so, uh, you mm. find a very loving wife here. Mm. Very loving wife here. Lakini muzee wezi ukamwambia chochote. Amwezi mm -hmm. mukaketi kuongea anything. Na kama ataongea, ataongea akiwa hapa. You know, akiwa njuu. Amwezi mm -hmm. akaongea akiwa soba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, people are so frustrated yeah. because mm -hmm. of expectation. Mm -hmm. Maybe some people, uh, it's at the end of the year, or maybe it is maybe um, during Christmas, mm -hmm. it could be your birthday, mm -hmm. it could be Valentine, mm -hmm. you know, any season, yeah. you know, Easter, and there's something that you are promised. 
Or probably you saw mm. Mrs. Monene with a very nice dress. Mm. And because uh, you, you also want to uh, prove a point, mm. you go and pressurize your partner mm. to also buy you mm. the same dress. Mm. Oh, yes. And so because of that, you are putting your family to pressure. Mm. You are putting your marriage into a very tricky position. Oh, yes. and, and I think it is the high time people can understand mm. that every marriage is unique. Mm. Mm. Wow. Every relationship is unique. Mm. My marriage is not like your marriage. Oh, yes. Sarano's marriage is not like our marriage. Mm. You know, there are different levels in life. Mm. There are different seasons in life. Mm. And it's important to understand where you are mm. and be able to live with what you have. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why God has put you there. Mm -hmm. And so don't do things that will, you know, put your family in a bad corner just oh, yes. because you want to please somebody. Mm. And so this matter of expectation mm. is an issue that actually has destroyed many. so many families. Mm. That's very true. Yeah. Because mm. when we talk about expectations, mm. it's unfortunate that this expectation is not to yourself. It is to, the, it is to your partner. Mm -hmm. All right. And you see now, I'm putting expectation on you. Mm. And maybe even we have not discussed. Yeah. We have not talked about it. Yeah. It's all in my mind. It's mm. well framed. Mm. It's very well arranged. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. But for you, you are not aware. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the challenge with the expectation, mm. it is when it is not discussed among a couple. Mm -hmm. But when I stay with my expectation and mm. I'm expecting him to be able mm. to meet my expectation mm. and he does not know that I do, mm. that's where frustration comes in. And that's wow. why we want to let every person listening to us to understand that nobody is your mind reader. Mm. If you have an expectation, learn to share it. My husband, Everybody mm -hmm. at my age mm -hmm. has already built. When are you building? Yeah. Okay. Everybody at my age has four children. When are we getting our children? Mm -hmm. Everybody at my age has done a PhD. When am I doing my PhD? Mm -hmm. When you speak that with, they're able to tell you, wow, you want to do a PhD right now? It's not possible. Mm. But in the next two years, some things like things will be good mm. because my priority is first of all to settle a home. Mm. You know, he's a, you are able to communicate. Mm. So expectation is not wrong mm. if you have an expectation of your partner. Mm. But has this been discussed? Mm -hmm. You get that. And mm -hmm. sometimes you may discuss, but you still find your your spouse is not able to meet that mm. expectation. Mm. So for for me, I, I would say that expectation has brought a lot of pain mm -hmm. among the married people. Because there's what I expect Pastor Monene to do for me as the wife. Mm. There's what I expect him to do to the children. Mm. There's what I expect him to do to my people. Mm. And he's not doing that. Mm. The question I need to ask myself, have we discussed? Have we agreed? Because mm. the word of God says in the book of Amos 3.3, two cannot walk together unless they agree. They agree. Do you want to walk in anything? Walking means doing something together mm -hmm. or being in agreement. Mm. Is there, have you discussed with your husband mm. concerning that particular matter or wish that you have? Mm. Because if it is not discussed, it will remain as an expectation to mm -hmm. me. And every time I remember about it and I see like I had given myself timeline mm -hmm. and it seems like we are almost, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to that time, I'll feel frustrated and mm -hmm. that can bring a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. I want to say this. In life, you will find expectation, you will find God's will, and you will find reality. Mm -hmm. Oh, three things. Expectation. Uh -huh. God's, uh, will. Uh, God's will. And reality. And reality. Mm -hmm. If you want to, to deal mm -hmm. with your expectation in a positive way, mm -hmm. what you're supposed to ask yourself as an individual, mm -hmm. is it God's will? Mm -hmm. If it is God's will, then what timing? Mm -hmm. You need to understand the timing of your family. Mm -hmm. Because if right now you have young children, the, 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 it means all the finances will go towards bringing up these children, mm -hmm. making sure the rent is paid, food is, food is available, mm -hmm. if they're in PP1, PP2, nursery, all mm -hmm. those things. Yeah. You're getting that. Mm -hmm. So building may not be an issue because right now we have enough money to pay rent. Mm -hmm. But if money increases, then we can think of buying land. I think the issue is still what we, we, we have always been talking mm -hmm. in our episodes. Mm -hmm. Communication 
expectation in marriage. Yes. Wow. If couples can learn to sit down mm -hmm. and share the expectation mm. and even argue about them. No, mm. why are you saying we are not going to do this and this money is available? Why are you saying we do this and this money is not available? Mm. If couples would be able to, to argue mm. objectively, mm. it is possible to bring expectations to God's will. Mm. Wow. So you, you find that now when, when you look at the reality, mm -hmm this thing is not applicable mm -hmm. at that particular time in your marriage mm -hmm. but it is a wish mm -hmm. wish is something that is in your mind yeah. but probably you have not you have not communicated mm -hmm. it's like a silent wish silent mood silent wish the way you're mm -hmm. saying it yeah so you have that wish and we we marry with all that mm -hmm. a husband you find a husband having a lot of expectation mm -hmm. about the wife and vice versa mm -hmm. you know you have uh, that your wife will be opening the 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 car for you will be taking your coat will be removing your shoes massaging you you know cooking <laughs> for you you know you get the point eh? there's mm -hmm. all these expectations that we have but we don't understand that these expectations may not be a reality mm -hmm. so at the end of the day, a man marries me and the husband wishes mm. I will be cooking mm. and I'm not cooking. So he's there and he's wondering, mm. why is my wife not cooking? And I expected a wife mm -hmm. to cook. You see that? Wow. Only to discover I don't know how to cook and I have no interest for cooking. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. it's all about um, people understanding that you cannot live on expectations. Mm. And when unmet expectations are not fulfilled because they were not communicated or they were wished in someone's mind but they never came to pass, or even you, you, you told your spouse something and they never came, it, came, it never came to pass, you need to ask yourself, was, was it done? What was the motive? behind this because there are things I may expect Pastor Monene to do like of Valentine to bring for me flowers mm. and he doesn't come with flowers. There are times I would want him to take me for a date. It's me who is wishing mm. he would but I'm not communicating mm. and him is thinking about a loan he wants to pay. Yes. You see those are two different things yeah. and so I'm there asking him mm -hmm, would you allow me Valentine? Would you allow me anniversary? And you have that toxic because you expected that person to know. And so I keep telling the men, because women are very good with dates, anniversaries, and all those things. Since you have your phone, put them in your calendar. Put them, diarize them. So that it can remind you four days or five days before. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you're going to have fights with your partner. Since we have the phone, put those important days, anniversaries, birthday you know when a child was born as a man because men don't remember those things they are so petty yeah. to them but they mean a lot to us mm -hmm. so put them in your phone so that when that time comes you can surprise her depending with how she loves it and at your level you should not pressurize your partner yeah. i've also seen another thing people are getting pregnant mm -hmm. and i expect him to do what to take me a photo when i'm pregnant spend money bring mm -hmm. uh, you know sh shower. baby shower Baby and maybe my husband is not in a position to do yeah. that. Or maybe just mm -hmm. add to what you're yes. saying. You mm. said something that is really important. Mm -hmm. Yes. That communication, you see all these things. Mm. Expectations aren't bad, but communicate them. Mm -hmm. And then she has said there is God's will around these expectations. Mm. Is it uh, in the line and in the will for God? Like mm. if maybe I expect a, a peaceful home, mm -hmm. that's a genuine expectation. Mm -hmm. A responsible husband and a father, that's a genuine, genuine one. But there are those that are ego-based. Selfish, selfish ambitions. Yeah, mm. that one, thank you. Mm. So you find that they, when expectation is ego-based, you are comparing because you want to look like other people oh, yes. and you don't have time to analyze the situation at the moment is it viable is it conducive to to, to get what you want it could be even the, the gifts for valentine or whatever i'm just using that as an example mm -hmm. but you can there could be things of higher priority mm -hmm. at the moment mm -hmm. maybe say school fees or maybe some project or something just around the family that makes your family mm -hmm. not be in a position to do that but mm -hmm. Other person's family will be in a better position to do that because they are in a different season. So this is what I, I, I wanted to say before it skips my mind. Mm. People need to set their expectations as them. Yani for you, individual expectations, mm. as much as you have expectations ah. from your partner, yeah. have your expectations. Mm. For example, as a wife, my expectation is to be a respectable 
wifers my, 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 my the bible tells me mm. you can set your individual expectations mm. that sometimes you won't have even to communicate them you will just have to act upon them for mm. example if i expect my husband to be more on the giving end i could be surprising him with gifts maybe we learn that not many mm. people come from places where there was a lot of giving so maybe his form of giving is care and and act helping you do chores around the house but you want small small gifts so get that gifts and maybe through that you can be communicating in a nice way without even having a fight mm. thereafter you can be he can people energy they you can exchange energies if you create that positive environment in your house mm. where you guys can talk without fighting i think most of these expectations can be met uh, yeah th that, that's very true mm. i want to add something on that because uh, i think i'm speaking as a boy child for other mm. men outside there mm. i think high expectations comes from ladies mm. <laughs> it comes from ladies yeah it's true yeah because you'll oh find that yeah. on her birthday mm -hmm. she expects me to do for her something yes mm -hmm. oh. i take her out i buy her present mm -hmm. yes. i celebrate her birthday yes, yes. On an, our anniversary, mm -hmm. our. Mm -hmm. It's me again to do something, mm -hmm. not us, yes. me. Mm -hmm. I should buy oh. her a present. Ni, 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 ni. Mm -hmm. On my birthday, yes. she'll ask me, What are you now, buying me on your birthday? To celebrate with you. Yeah, now. so again, again, they're expecting <laughs> me on my birthday <laughs> to celebrate her on my birthday. Yes. Also on other small, small events. So mm -hmm. I think, as she's saying, first of all, on my birthday, if you just did for me something, on yours, I won't even ask mm. because I'll, I'll I'll be saying, "Wow, this is what you did for me. Let me watch him surprise next it's time." A but if it's always, "Babe, happy birthday! How uh, uh, this day on this day a king was born? I celebrate you." So tonight, we're going happy birthday, Yako. So again, it's again me to spend on <laughs> on your birthday, <laughs> on my birthday to celebrate her. <laughs> on our anniversary, she can just say, "But this this year is our anniversary. I want to treat this one mm. because but it's it's between the two of us. Yes. It's not just about her. Yes. So I think we should lower. Uh, we should we, not lower, but we should also try. As she's saying, if you give me that energy mm. and give back that yeah, energy, wonderful. then we sit just waiting that what what we should not find any But then that question now, how angumu kosabu? Sijani kachivu tuvime kufanya. Nasema tangu tuwan ushai ni fanya ni ni. Nanza kire. Ujukio awonangi eni. There are things you've done, but awonangi ukati awonangi eni. So I think we should go with that mentality that what am I going to give in this marriage? And I think we should always have that mind of when you're getting married, is I'm going to give my best, not I'm going to receive my best. So tapa tu kisha wana that the man is expecting that this lady should be giving me sex every day. And not just once, three times a day, come a dawa, breakfast, lunch, supper, we sit in a table. So that's what I'm expecting from her. And in her mind, you at Aiko, she's expecting you're just going to be happy, watching a movie, romancing, and in a share for you. So when they're not met, I'm like, Kwani, what's happening? Why are you not giving me sex the way I want it? Why are you giving me like doses? Kwani, mbona ni kuwanili kutoku nyo kama siyo? This is the main thing that brought you in our home. So why are we not doing it? So my expectations begin, I get frustrated because they're not being met. Mm -hmm. So oh, yes. instead of giving this person high targets, mm -hmm. can you give yourself targets and that I want to that by the end of this Personal. year, I put mm -hmm. in this marriage, and that make sure in this marriage, mm -hmm. dresses, set for her, mm -hmm. not for you. If you are in the receiving end, you'll be frustrated and then you'll be in a very frustrating marriage. Mm -hmm. wow. And also be grateful mm -hmm. for the little the other person is doing. Mm -hmm. if, you, mm -hmm. if you focus on the what the positive it will grow it will expand but if you keep complaining and focusing yeah. on what is not happening mm -hmm. like me i'm at the place of my life where i'm so peaceful and mm -hmm. so content mm -hmm. that is the gift god has given me this season i'm learning to be content and mm -hmm. peaceful yeah. so that when any other thing adds to what i'm already having mm -hmm. i'll be just it grateful. is an additional yeah, i'll be more grateful but it doesn't i don't have to wait until that happens for me mm -hmm. to celebrate and be happy mm -hmm. so be grateful for what you have the the milestones you've overcome at yeah. kamani five years mm -hmm. you guys have overcome from you've grown from tantrums to now dialogue 
from uh, not buying at all at least buying something or being mm. available and atoka job mapema those are the small small things you can yeah. even be appreciating even washing kids you can be appreciating those things that's mm. also gifting mm. yeah they say godliness and contentment is great gain mm. yeah. but when we are not contented mm -hmm. everything because you'll say that me uh, unless we leave these rentals i'll never be at peace paka siku tajenge nyangu nitakuwa at peace the moment yako nyuma nasema ah mimi paka siku tajenge tu rentals zangu nikwe ninapatia income is when i'll be at peace when rentals come you are saying me ah ah i need some pieces of land somewhere so you will keep on chasing these things and postponing your happiness until the day you will die but i'm saying when you have that peace of god in you the joy of the lord has become your strength and you are in that contentment you are always a grateful person something is i do say thank you mm. this one said you also say thank you the so anything space. comes as a blessing mm. but when it becomes as a demand to enlarge your territories to get more demand then you never be satisfied